Hello, hello, you guys. This is me, Diara, and this is the love reading that you have been waiting for. <laughs> Yay! I'm doing another love reading, finally, again. Um, so, this is a reading where you can choose between those three piles over here. This is going to be number one, number two, number three. I shuffled already off camera just to save some time. So let's open up all together. Let's be grateful for all kind of information, no matter what wants to come up here with this reading. I don't know myself because I always shuffle um, blindly. So I don't know myself which cards we do have here. Um, yeah, make your choice if you need a little longer. Um, press the pause button, any other information. I'm going to have a look here into the past, the present and the future. And if you would like to follow me, if you need any more information about me, myself, as a card reader, as a human being, feel free to check out the description box down below. And this is also where you do find um, timestamps, okay? I always timestamp my videos. Okay, so let's get started. Hi, number one people. This is your love reading and this is telling us a little bit about your past, your current situation and the future. And I am not reading for, let's say, the next five years. When I say future, I mean the next few weeks and months, okay? This is a timeless reading as always. So whenever you find it, it will um, have some information for you. So first of all, the first information that we have is the Divine Guidance card. So actually, um, this deck looks like this, okay? This is a, um, I think, a pretty old deck. Uh, I don't think that you can still buy it. I brought it in a um, <laughs> in a second-hand bookshop in LA a few, a few years ago. And the thing is that I lost one card, which was that one. Um, I was telling the story in another reading before, so I'm not going to repeat it. But um, the bottom line is that one card of the deck got lost, which was this card here. So I had to kind of replace it. Um, doing it all by myself, okay? So this is divine guidance, which is telling me um, maybe not so much about your love situation from the past, but that you are a spiritual person. You are maybe a very old soul. No matter how old you are, you can be only like 20, 21, but still, you have spent a lot of um, lives, lifetimes um, on this earth already. And this is probably maybe even one of um, the final ones. So your topic, your theme in this lifetime is love. It could be that you are single already for ages, you know, like a felt eternity, so to say, um, because what you want is really divine love. You want the one. You don't want just anyone, but you want a solid, mature and long-term and committed love. Okay. This is what you want. You are very spiritual. You are an old soul, as I already said. Um, you are probably also a healer. Probably you are very much into card readings, into um, energetic healing, stuff like that, shamanism and whatever. So um, this is what stands out um to me the most here okay as i said maybe not saying so much about your past love situation um unless as i said already that you might have been single um for a lot of years already and um yeah you are still waiting for the one i mean maybe not maybe you have had a big love in your life already maybe you are divorced and um now you are kind of opening up again, okay? After a little pause, after having a little break, kind of sorting yourself out once again after this breakup and this major change. So I can feel that you do believe in divine guidance and divine timing. And yeah, um, this is what I'm catching up here for you and for your past. 
energy. So this is maybe not saying so much, sorry, but as I said, we have to be open to whatever wants to come out here. And I mean, also, this is just speaking about the past. I mean, you know where you're coming from, you know your own individual situation. I read for a lot of people here. So probably this is not so important anyways, okay? This is just a starting point. So if you do resonate with these kind of information, you know definitely that this pile is yours, right? So um, the presence, what's going on currently? We have the king of wands in reverse. So for me, it feels like you are waiting for the one. You may have the feeling that this person is already in your surrounding somehow and that you are being guided towards each other. Um, you might have the feeling that um, you don't have to wait anymore um to find them okay um i feel that you are looking for a mature person again not gender specific man woman no matter what okay a mature person who is willing to make the effort who's willing to recognize you who's willing to um yeah commit to you on a long term basis okay um, the King of Wands is speaking about a fiery person, someone who's passionate. You don't want to raise a man-child, okay? If you're a woman, you look for someone who's successful, you know, victorious when it comes to their job and finances, someone who might have been built up a little, um, yeah, status around them. It's not that you are looking for a millionaire. This is not what I'm saying. But you look for someone who's grounded, who's solid, okay, who's trustworthy, reliable, um, again, a mature person, someone who knows where he wants to go. And for those who are pretty young still, um, still, you look for someone who knows what they want. You don't want a boy or, a, you know, like a man who is sitting at home all the time and then, you know, like playing games on their, I don't know how these things do, to, do call these days, not iPod, but, you know, like those Things where you can play games on, I don't know, this is not my generation, obviously, but um, you know what I mean, you know, like just playing soccer on the laptop or whatever. This is not what you want, you know, like someone who's, uh, I don't know, smoking joints, um, stuff like that, and just, is just hanging around, doesn't know where he wants to go to in the future, has no plan at all, you know, like no education, um, stuff like that. No, you want someone who goes maybe to college, who had their own car maybe already. And this is just for the those who are a little bit younger. I mean, um, if you are already, you know, like 30, 30 something, 40, 40 something, um, same here, right? You look someone who has maybe probably their own business, who's probably self-employed. And even if not, this could be a team leader. Um, this could be a supervisor, you know, like someone who has um, a certain kind of status and and position um someone who loves what they do this is i think very important for you you want someone who's passionate about what they're doing no matter what they are doing they can be a teacher they can be um uh, I don't know, a surgeon, they can be someone who's building houses or whatnot. I'm not speaking about someone who's you know like rich in the traditional sense, although that wouldn't be something bad you know, if he was rich, but um, someone who's rich, you know, like from their heart, this is what you are looking for. Someone who's honest, okay, very honest, someone you can trust, someone you can tell your secrets to. Um, yeah, and since the card came out in reverse, um, this is something that you are still looking for. Maybe you have a certain person in the back of your head. Maybe you are here because you want to hear something about your crush, something about your love interest, you know, your ex-boyfriend or whatever. Um, I feel that still you do resonate with this information. Maybe your ex or your crush is not exactly like that, but this is what you would like to prefer. Okay, you may don't know your person, your crush or your love interest yet. So good. Um, but this is something that you would definitely resonate with and that you would definitely prefer to have in your life. That kind of man, that kind of woman, that kind of person. Okay, so let's have a look into the future. What can you expect? Now it gets um, interesting. And again, I, I also don't know what information is coming. So what do we have? Oh, wow. Whew. Part number one, we have the wedding card. We have show your love, express your love. 
and then um, call out your soulmate. And very um, interestingly, we also have higher forces here. Yeah, so I think this goes quite good with the Divine Guidance card, which is actually almost the same, just another word of saying it, you know, Divine Guidance and higher forces means the universe will help you. The universe will step in. This You are guarded and you are guided, okay? Guarded is not the right word. Um, this is because I'm not a native speaker, sorry. I wanted to say you are guided into the right situations, to the right places. You are guided to meet the right kind of people who can lead you um, into, yeah, meeting this person if you know what I mean so maybe you're right maybe you feel that this person is already in your surroundings in some way maybe this is a friend of a friend or this is a future co-worker or a future colleague of yours um, who is already about to apply in, at your company okay and although you don't really know that because you don't have those kind of information you know like I mean you don't know who's applying um, for your you know like company that you work with or the office or whatever but still um you have that kind of gut feeling. Honestly, I do see a marriage here. I do see a wedding here. Um, I think it's very important for you in the future, okay? So a wedding and a marriage in this reading, since I was saying in the beginning that I'm not reading here for the next five years or something like that, only for the next few months um, and weeks, Um Still, I'm willing to say that a wedding is something major, right? Isn't it? I mean, a, a wedding is something where you do where do where you do commit and you make things official. So I feel that there will be an official announcement. You will meet someone that you can finally look up to, someone who is like the king of wands, someone who is all that you have been yeah waiting and and longing for in the in the past okay i do definitely see that coming and you probably have worked for that a lot you may have done some cleansing of your energy system you know like meditations yoga coachings maybe um i don't know maybe you've done those kind how do you say it um like maps or you know like you were writing a journal um, or yeah, stuff like that, you know, um, I don't have all the right expressions here, but, um, I feel that you've done a lot, um, in order to attract this kind of person and yeah, they are about to come in your life and all you have to do, pile number one is be open. Okay. Show your love means, um, be open and whenever you happen to meet someone you like and you feel attracted to and you feel that the energy is right with, um, please open yourself up. Maybe you have the tendency to be very shy and intimidated and also timid when it comes to the other gender. You know, so whenever there is someone that you like, maybe you start to be very silly or you act like a little girl, you know, like you are giggling around, you're looking away into the completely other direction, or maybe you act like you are not interested at all, you know. Um, so you should really work on those habits a little bit. Um, don't do that. Be open. So help the universe to help you and help this other person um, to to pursue you. OK, um, I mean, we were talking about a mature and committed relationship. And in order to attract something like that, you have to be like that as well. Right. Like attracts like, as we always say, this is the law of attraction. So be open, be mature, be reliable, be trustworthy, um, smile at someone if you like them, show them that you feel attracted to them. And this is not me telling you that you should um throw yourself into this person's chest completely naked <laughs> and confessing them your feelings this is of course not what i'm saying here okay and i think you you kind of know that so let's see do you already um know this person i'm talking about here do you already know them so for the majority of you please keep in mind this is an open reading this is a general reading it may not resonate for all of you, or maybe at least not 
when it comes to all the little details, maybe like, let's say 70% of the spread is uh, for you. And there are still some information that are maybe not so much for you. Okay. Please always have that in mind and take everything with a grain of salt. So do you already know this person, the majority who choose pile number one? Do they already know this kind of person that's coming? No, you don't know them. Okay, so for the majority of you, pile number one, you don't know this person. This is a completely new person coming into your life. Um, and someone where there will be definitely the potential for something serious, okay? I'm not speaking about a fling or a one-night stand or an extended affair or something. I'm speaking about something committed. Yeah, here we do have the yes card and let go. So let go. So if you have someone in your mind, pile number one people, before I move over to pile number two, let them go. Okay, so if you do have a crush or maybe not only a crush, but also, you know, like those who are stuck in twin flame energies, um, let go. At least a little bit, okay? Allow the universe to present you something else. And then you still can make your choice whether you like this new person or not, okay? So let go a little bit. Um, be open, right? Um, because I do see someone completely new coming. And this is kind of validation, okay? This is a completely new person, someone where you can enter a whole new life, I'm hearing, okay? Where you can open up a whole new chapter, if not saying a whole new book, if you know what I mean, okay? So release the old, open up to the new. This is what this reading is saying. And always remember, you are guided from above. You are a very spiritual person. You are a very old soul. And I do see, um, yeah, I do see this commitment energy and this wedding and marriage energy coming into your life. Okay. So, yeah, this is it for pile number one, people. Let's move over to pile number two. Okay. So, if you just let me clear up this. So if you have chosen pile number two, let's see. This is um, your love reading here for today. This is a timeless reading. This is not gender specific. Please take everything with a grain of salt. Remember, this is a open reading, a general reading. It may not resonate for all of you or maybe not all the information that I'm going to give you is resonating with you maybe it's just 60 70 80 percent something like that okay so please uh keep that in mind um so um regarding your past we have the peace card coming out in reverse okay so um i feel that you haven't been in peace or at peace and at ease in the past when it uh, comes to your love life. I feel that you, maybe you were constantly drawing in the wrong people. Your pickle was kind of broken, as we like to say it, okay? So you were maybe um, constantly um, falling in love with men or women who were not available. You found yourself in three or four party situations. Maybe you found yourself falling in love with someone who was not really good for you, that was kind of toxic, you know, someone who was disrespectful and stuff like that. Um, so you were definitely not at peace in the past when it comes to your love life. Maybe this has also to do with your story, with your history, the history of your family, right? Your ancestors. Maybe you grew up... Um, being raised by a single mom or a single dad, maybe. And this not always has to do with being divorced, okay? Parents being divorced. It can also be a little bit more um, severe. Let's say, I don't know, your mom passed away when you were three, something like that, or your dad died because of a bad um, accident, car accident, okay? So, um, it not always has to be something like, okay, my parents broke up when I was little and this is why I have some commitment issues going on. It can be something like that. Um, it's, it's personal, okay? It's, it's different for every one of you. But I can see that you haven't been at peace with your story and the history of your family and with everything that you had to go through uh, involuntarily. I mean, no one asked you before, right? Okay, is it okay for you if you were born into a family 
family where uh, the dad is going to pass away, um, you know, like because of a bad uh, car accident or something like that. I mean, yeah, it's not always so easy for every one of us. I mean, for some it is. For some, they grew up um, in a in a Disney movie, so to say, if you know what I mean. Okay, everything is happy. Everything is uh, full of abundance and 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 I don't know, health and and wealth and what. But for some, it's different, right? Some are growing up under very um, severe and intense circumstances. Actually, as a matter of fact, a lot of people grew up um, like that, which is so sad, right? Really, it is really sad. And, um, and it's causing a lack. This is what it's causing. It's causing a lack. It's causing a lack of uh, consciousness. It's causing a lack of hope. It's causing a lack of, yeah, maybe health, maybe wealth. Um, it's causing a lack of, of faith, right? And <laughs> uh, last but not least, love right growing up among um underneath those kind of circumstances is causing a lack of love and and this is what i feel for pile number two people so whatever this is for you again this is personal this is very individual some cases are maybe a little more severe and and tragic than others um but what i feel here is pile number two in your past, you haven't been okay with what is, okay? This is the bottom line. But I do see you um, moving into a very bright and, and positive future. And this is something that already happened. So you've worked on yourself a lot. You've healed your past. You've forgiven. You've maybe even forgotten some stuff, you know, like um, sometimes we have to forget something, right? I mean, I think, isn't in the Bible this quote why they say, hey, throw the stone or those are going or those are allowed to throw the stone at someone um, who are without any guilt. You know what I mean? So, I mean, who is without any guilt? Nobody is. Nobody. Have you ever talked bad behind somebody else's back? Have you ever um, spoken a lie to someone? Even though that was maybe for their highest sake, but still, it was a lie, right? Have you ever reported sick, although you simply didn't want it to go to work, something like that. Do you know what I mean? So I think no one is completely and 100% innocent, right? Um, no one. Nobody in the whole world. Um, we all have our flaws and freckles and edges and corners. And no one's perfect, as they say, okay, literally. I mean, um, and I feel that you've made peace with that. You've made peace with your parents, with your history, with your ancestors, with all the yeah circumstances that you have been grown up with, um, as sad or, I don't know, unhealthy they might have been. And this is why I do see you uh, currently, you know, like in this present moment today, in a very healthy uh, and strong state of mind. I do see you being okay with what is. And this is probably the best place where you can be at all, satisfied, content, right? No longer searching and wanting and trying to control or maybe even manipulating the situation. So I like this card a lot. Um, let's see, um, where are you heading to now from this um, place? So you are in, at a very... Uh, positive and good you are on a very positive place right now or at a very positive and optimistic place seeing the glass always half full and not half empty so where are you heading to pile number two. Oh my goodness yeah you see this is true love so you are heading into true love you will find the love of your life you will definitely find them pile number two and this again I said that with pile number one uh, already I am not reading here for the next three, four or five years. I don't really like to do that kind of readings. I'm reading for the next um, weeks and months, okay, like up to a year. So asking me, I would really um, say that the majority of you who choose pie number two, you have the chance to meet the one. 
within the next few months. Honestly, really. And you know me. I'm very blunt. I'm very straightforward. Sometimes my readings are brutally honest, you know. Um, but here with pile number two, again, I see that healing um, happened in your past. You've been through a lot. And now the universe is kind of paying back to you, so to say. Okay. You've let, and here, yeah, this is it. I mean, I just said it. Let go of control issues in reverse. I just said that you found your peace with your history, with your parents and everything. I just said it. Okay. So, and this is it. This is validation. You let go of control issues in the past. You still are letting go. Right. And, and this is leading you into a place full of love and abundance. And you know now that you deserve to be loved the way you are. So it's not so much where you're coming from. Um, uh, it is more like, okay, where are you going through for you? This is what I'm hearing. Okay. So they, the universe is really encouraging you to keep up the good work, to keep doing what you're doing, whatever costs that healing. Maybe you, you started to meditate or you do yoga. I mean, some people hate yoga. Some people can't meditate at all. Uh, maybe it was like, I don't know, you started to paint or to write or to sing or to take dancing lessons. Right. And this is why you, um, step by step, I'm hearing and I'm seeing you unfolded your beauty. You unfolded your femininity or for those who are male, um, your masculinity. If, 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 is that a real word? I don't know. Sorry, but you know what I mean. Okay. So I'm speaking about the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies here. Okay. And you are stepping more and more into this energy depending whether you are male or female once again. Okay. So this is, this card is speaking about, um, self-love, self-love, being content with who you are, where you are, why you are the way you are, how you are, you know? So, um, yeah, self-love. And, and now you know that, Hey, I deserve to be loved. Maybe my parents were not able to give me, um, the love that I wanted, or maybe the friends, you know, like my past, my teachers, my uh, my bosses you know like they didn't they did not treat me the way i wanted to be treated in the past you know but now you know that you deserve to be loved and you are even um, now at a place where you're like okay if i meet people who are not treating me respectfully um I will no longer deal with them. I will cut the cords with those kind of people. Maybe you also let go of certain friends. Yeah, former friends. Maybe um, there was some separations going on. Okay, so this is what I'm feeling here for pile number two. And yeah, your oracle card is breath. Yeah, breathing. So breathing is life, right? Being alive. So I do really feel you being calm and relaxed. You see this woman, she's so content here sitting there, just sitting there and breathing, right? She's connected to life and she's, yeah, just sitting there, not wanting a thing, not trying to control anything, not making up stuff, right? Not acting in a weird, awkward way, not, you know, like, trying to act in a way that i mean you know what i'm just hearing for you it's better to be loved for who you truly are than being loved for something that you are not does that make sense so once again it's better to be loved for who you are who you truly are you know than being loved for something that you're not Okay, so let this sink in and digest this information because this seems to be obviously uh, important for you as well, pile number two. I think this is um, your encouragement and the, the, the universe's way of telling you, hey, you are a beautiful person. Just be who you are. Don't compare, don't compete. Don't put on a make makeup or poker faces, right? Just be the way you are because you are lovable. Wow, this is so great. This is a beautiful message, pile number two, okay? So keep your eyes and your ears open. So you may, uh, yeah, run into 
a very big, big love here, true love in the pa- in the future, right? Not in the past, in the future, because I think in the past you haven't, you have not yet found this kind of person and this kind of love. So this is still there for you out there. And this is something that you can look forward f- uh, to and be excited for, okay? So let's move on to pile number three, people. If you have chosen pile number three, This is your love reading and this is giving us some information about your past, your present and your future. Okay, so let's open up ourselves all together uh, for all the information that would like to come up tonight, today. So this is a timeless reading. This is not gender specific. Uh, Take everything with a grain of salt. Maybe not the whole reading makes sense to you. Maybe it's just like 50, 60, 70, 80 percent of it. Um, This is not a personal reading. So um, just be objective. Okay, just saying to avoid any, um, yeah, misunderstandings. Okay, so let's get started. Um, Where are you coming from? Pile number three. This card speaks about to release old patterns. This is very interesting. Let me try to find the right words in order to express what I'm feeling and seeing here intuitively, because I'm an intuitive card reader. Okay. I feel I'm hearing that you've kind of walked around in your past kind of blindly. Okay. You were sometimes not really able to see, to see yourself, to see others the way they are, to see love, to see opportunities, Yeah, you were kind of, I don't know, maybe you felt rejected. Maybe you felt like you were not worth it. Um, I don't know. I feel there's actually a lot of information coming up here with this pile and this card. But it has to do with releasing old patterns, okay? It has to do with you had to learn how to open up yourself and your eyes for the truth. Because it could be that there has been situations in your former life where you were um purposely denying the truth you because you didn't want to see the truth it was too um too ugly and too painful for you so you preferred to not see it you acted as if everything was okay although it obviously wasn't okay but still you acted like no no i'm good i'm fine everything's okay i'm in love with my husband my husband is in love with me although maybe the whole neighborhood already knew that your husband is cheating on you right or whatever or vice versa i mean maybe you were cheating on your husband but still you didn't want to to let them go you didn't want to to break up with them because of the children or whatever right um so This card has to do with releasing old patterns. Maybe that was a pattern of yours, you know, um, denying the truth, um, only wanted, only hearing what you wanted to hear also, right? Um, Things like that. But this is the past. So luckily, (laughs) this is just the past energy, which is good for you, I think, because, um, you know, I mean, a lot of people are like that. A lot of people, they only want to, yeah, want to hear what they want to hear. I mean, this is a big topic in all companies, actually, you know, like feedback. It's about feedback. Do you know those people? I mean, they work at a certain place and they do their job, but they don't do it in a good way. And but still, it's very difficult to pursue them and to, 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 to let them know that, Hey, um, you're not doing a good job. What you do is not okay. Okay. Please try to do this and that, um, in another way. Okay. Try to do it like, like me or try to do it like, uh, according to the company's police or whatever. I don't know. I, this is just an example, but do you know what I mean? Sometimes it's like that. I think we all know people who are acting like that, who are thinking that, hey, everything is okay and I'm a big dude and whatnot, although there are not, okay? And although everything is not okay. So somehow, I don't know, I'm just hearing that, so I'm saying it and I think you can resonate. I mean, of course, you don't want to be this person in the office who's doing a bad job, but not who's not open for feedback. And I'm not saying that you're not open for feedback, but 
I feel that in your past, um, there has been situations, and I said that before in the beginning already, I'm kind of repeating myself here, um, where you constantly um, fell into the same trap. Okay, I think this is the quintessence. You always, you know, like uh, um, repetitively fell into the same trap. Okay, so, um, and you were also not listening to your intuition. I mean, speaking about the, the truth, you know, um, I think this makes sense. This clarifier card makes sense. Uh, you know, like, let's get back to the, um, to the example with the wife and the husband and where, you know, like, uh, the whole neighborhood already know that um, this marriage is, is off and, and not working well, but you are still acting like, no, I'm a happy wife. Everything is okay. Um, deep down inside, you knew it. I mean, deep, deep down inside, you knew it too, that your husband is maybe cheating on you or whatever. But you were, again, you were purposely um, avoiding opening up your eyes and seeing the truth, okay? So, but let's put that away. I don't like this energy. I want to look into the present moment. So where you're at right now, King of Cups. So, <laughs> are you ready for the truth, pile number three people? I think you are dealing with someone uh, who is having a hard time connecting with their feelings. King of Cups, this is a card that's coming up quite often, to be honest. And you may have heard me saying a thing or two about this card and the energy of this card. Let me repeat it, just in case you are new, just in case you don't know anything about this card. Although one could think that King of Cups is representing a very emotional person, very empathic and whatnot, it's speaking about the opposite. Yeah, I know this is kind of a paradox, but it's the truth. Um, King of Cups is speaking about a person who is isolated. You know, this person lives uh, on his own shell, surrounded by a lot of water. So that means this person is not so easy to access. And not only that, I mean, that wouldn't be the baddest thing, right? But it's also that this person is not in touch with their feelings and their intuition neither. So I was just say, th saying that you were not listening to your intuition, but this person is not listening to their um, intuition neither. Okay, so you guys may mirror each other in a certain way. Maybe not to, you know, like a 100% like twins, but in certain ways, I feel that you guys are mirroring each other. This person has commitment issues for sure. No doubt about it. This person has commitment issues big time. Um, this person, although they can be married, you know, like they can have children uh, with someone, this is all possible. This is, everything is possible, but still. Even their wife or the women they have children with, they would be like, you know, like if you would ask them, they would be like, yes, I know I have this, you know, like baby boy with them, but still, yeah, they, they don't really feel embraced and seen by this person because this person, yeah, they are always on guard. They are very suspicious. They are very, very cautious. Um, they need a long time to build up um, trust and faith and stuff like that. And I feel that you are kind of dealing with that kind of person. And this is also maybe why we had um, this blind woman here, you know, like she's blindly doing something um, and not willing to open up the eyes. And this can go into several directions here, okay? So maybe for some of you, it's just the ugly truth that you are dealing with someone who has commitment issues and this person will never commit to you. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but I have to say it the way it is, right? And you are kind of, you know, like not willing to see that. It could also be that you, uh, you recognized 
yourself having this habit and this pattern, you know, like the pattern that you were constantly falling in love with guys like that. I like to call them traffic light men, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I like to call them like that because they're not available. They can be, this can be emotionally unavailability or this can be physically unavailability, you know, um, but they are not available to you. Maybe they are, um, I don't know, married to someone else already, or they live at the other side of the world, you know, like all this stuff. I mean, this is the point where <laughs> a lot of readings are the same because we do have this going on a lot out there. Let's face it, girls, let's face it, boys. It's like that. A lot of us who are into pick a card readings are dealing with someone who's not available. And this is the reason why they are coming to pick a card readings in order to find out whether in the future there is still hope, right? I mean, if you live in a happy relationship, there's no need for a pick a card reading because you already know everything that you need to know. You only come to card readings because you don't know. You want to know, but you don't know. This is the reason why you come to a card reading, right? <clears throat> so, but anyways, long story short, yeah, this is the thing. So let's see where are you heading to, okay? We were talking about the past quite a lot, and now let's have a look into the future. What can you expect to come? I'm talking about the next few weeks and months, okay? Up to a year, timeless. So whenever you find it, this is timeless. Speaking about your next few months up to a year from now. Healing family issues. Give your relation a chance. Make the effort and um, separation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Oracle card is fake. Yeah, I have to tell you, pile number three, that um, if you keep on having your eyes closed, if you keep on hearing only what you want to hear, if you keep on living in a illusionary world, and if you don't release your patterns, right, there will be no um, progress. Seriously. I, I have to say it the way it is, right? I would love to give you any other message. In fact, I the first two piles were very, very positive. But this one's not so much, okay? Um, we have the separation here. We have give your relation a chance, make the afford, healing family issues. And, you know, like putting those messages all together, um, for me as a reader, and yeah, I mean, this is just my interpretation. Of course, there may be a lot of different interpretation, but I'm not here to discuss, right? This is not an open discussion, you know, like between me and you. Um, this is just, you know, like my reading here. Um, take what resonates, okay? Okay. And I wouldn't wonder, especially since you are, okay, rejecting the truth and not willing to, to see it, at least this is a pattern of yours. And at least this is something that you have been doing in the past. You will continue doing it. You will continue doing it. You will not heal your issues and you will stay in the separation. I think the separation card is very, very important here. You will stay in the separation. If you don't change, you will um, continuously, you know, like repetitively draw into your life what you don't want by acting like this, which is, as a matter of fact, separation, right? Not being with the right one, not being in love, not being seen, not being appreciated, not being in a mature relationship. Okay, not having something official and, and long term, right? So the separation um, will continue. Um, you should definitely work on uh, making a reality check every now and then. Okay, make a reality check. I think take the word reality check and work with it. Simple message. Nothing more to add. Of course, I will add because I tend to speak a lot. Why? Because I really want you to understand. I don't want to throw a word here um, 
you know, like into your face and then let, you know, um, and then, okay, say, Hey, okay, this is it. Goodbye. Have a good life. I really want you to understand, um, reality check. So what is reality check all about? Check the reality. If you feel triggered, then there's definitely something right in what I have been saying, because otherwise you wouldn't be triggered. You wouldn't feel offended. Do you know what I mean? And this is where reality check starts. Feeling triggered and feeling offended by something that somebody is trying to explain to you. Someone who is, by the way, only having your highest well-being in mind um, is showing you that there's something going on that you should maybe um, think about to address. Okay, so maybe you have the tendency to only see what you want to see. You know, um, not everything that glitters is gold. Right. This is the fake card. You see those two masks, right? Poker faces, deception. This is number 16, which would be in Tarot. This would be the tower. So I really would um, recommend you to um, really reality check your situation, so to say. Okay. Reality check it. Probably maybe even treat yourself with a personal reading. If you have the money, if you really want to know. Um, I mean, some people don't. Some people don't want to know. Yeah, they don't want to know. They prefer to stay in their fantasy world um, because it's very cozy there. Yeah, it is. It's very warm and cozy and comfortable living in a fantasy world. The only bad thing is that it's a fantasy world. It's not a real world, right? Um, but well, this is it what I have for you. I think I will, yeah, I think I will really leave it like that. So you have something to to work on yourself, right? And to think about yourself. Think about why you have chosen this path. Think about why your intuition, you know, like your higher self has guided you to this third pile and not to pile number one or two. I mean, there must be a reason why they wanted you to hear this. They wanted you to, at least for a few minutes, um, really um, to open up your eyes and to see that, hey, maybe she's right. Maybe... I have the tendency to not see the truth. Maybe at least I had it, maybe. And this is something that I have to work on. And maybe you already, in, a, in, a, in the best case, I mean, you already started to recognize that and you already started to work on that, right? Which is good, which is perfect. I mean, then keep on with your work, okay? So um, let me get you one final oracle card. Since that was maybe not... Such a very happy message for pile number three people. Let's see, is there anything else that I should address? Anything else for pile number three people that will help them finding a new direction or whatever? Any other message that wants to come out here for pile number three? Um, yeah, see, it's all up to you. <laughs> this is why I love my cards and this is why I love pulling cards live. Yeah, nothing more to say about it. You guys, it's all up to you, okay? Reality check your situation. Think about it at least, okay? And don't continue to try to see something good into something that's not good at all, right? So I leave it here. Thank you very much for listening. Thanks for subscribing, sharing, liking. Um, this is it for today. Namaste, you guys.